All right, what's up, my friends? Peasant Cube, Amaz's Peasant Cube. Amaz, of course, is a Hearthstone player, also plays a lot of Magic, and uh, they've been rotating the cubes on Magic Online using different players' cubes. I gotta update mine and submit mine to be used. I always talk about how bad the Magic Online cubes are. I probably will make them not want to use my cubes. They won't like me, but whatever. We're playing Amaz's Cube. It's a Peasant Cube. It's commons and uncommons, and uh, I honestly have no idea what's in it. Don't know a single card. Best way to do it, we're just going in totally blind. Um, I'd imagine it's, yeah, it's kind of value-based. Typically, typically kind of peasant popper cubes end up being very grindy. Um, there aren't really like the big effects that like end the game, you know, mythics and rares. So it's a lot of like mall drifters and grinding and so on and so forth. And this is a really, why does it look like this? Who did this? Yo, spike shot goblin? That's old school. All right, let's see what we got here. Eldest Reborn seems insane. Chupacabra. Yeah, like it ends up being like, a lot of your cards are just chupacabras in a, in a, in a cube like this, having built one before. And uh, it's kind of awkward, but All right, let's do it like this. Oh, it's sized so poorly. Um, I won't look any bigger. So, okay. So, um, Strix is really, really good. Uh, Eldest Reborn is really, really good. Um, this is the kind of like bomby card that's like kind of it feels like a rare, um, has like a rare like effect that's like pretty appealing. Uh, Strix is insane, but I think I want Eldest Reborn. Uh, I think it's just too much value to pass up. Passing Strix and Chupacabra sucks, but I think I want Eldest Reborn. I can also, also splash it, too. Can't splash Strix, can't splash Chupacabra. So I'm like pretty likely to play this card no matter what. Oh, I love this card. This card's so cool. Urban Evolution, you just draw. This is what I like in Magic. I like drawing cards and playing lands, and uh, Urban Evolution does that. Fire Mind, reset. Thanks so much. Um, Barter in Blood. It's a good, like, control -y card. Evolving Wilds. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's like there's some there's definitely like a bunch some fine cards here, you know, like Hoarding Dragon, Wing Splicer, Mesh Splicer, all fine cards. But I think I want to just draw a lot of cards and grind. And Evolution does that really well. I also just like the cards, so I'm taking it. So. Okay, I do love a Zero Mage. Probably not that great. Ah, oh, Planeswalker. Not a very good Planeswalker. Putrefy. It's a fine card. Vivid Creek. This card's a bomb too. Tristani Summoner. Rolling Thunder. Yeah, I mean, there's just so many good kill spells. Hmm. Putrefy is obviously very good, but I want more than a one for one. You know, I want big, powerful effects. I can't imagine there are many bigger or more powerful effects than Tristani Summoner, honestly. Um, it's a literal an army in one card. You know, 1-1, one, one, a 2-2, two, two, a 3-3, three, three, and a 4-4. Four, four. So it's 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's 10 power over 4 bodies. Yeah, I'm taking that. Sure, we'll get some like cultivates and stuff like that. Treasure Cruise, okay, interesting card. Blindy Beam is awesome. Magma, that was a rare. That's cheating. That's cheating. A lot of flicker effects too. It's cool. What's this card? Grave Upheaval. Six mana. Put a creature card graveyard on the battlefield under your control, and it gains haste and has basic land cycling. Sure. I mean, Death Sprout's pretty cool. It's a cool ramp cards. Cool fixing cards. A kill spell. Um, definitely commits us more to black. We'll actually be playing black rather than, rather than splashing Eldest Reborn. Treasure Cruise is okay. Um, don't know how like graveyardy will be, but I think I like Death Sprout. Basic land cycling is good, but like it's a fifth color. And I don't know if we're playing red or not, nor if we can even support that. Um, we could find some base colors in here. Probably gonna be like base green black so far, given what we have. Uh, Helix is nice too. Helix is a really nice one. 
Armadillo Cloak, Departure. So they got like the crappy creature pack here. Seed Guardian. When this dies, make a... My card's kind of cool. Spining Elix is really good, but that's, again, that's, that's a fifth color. Sylvan Reclamation, another QB card or, or whatever, Commander card. Basic Land Cycling, Exile up to two artifacts or enchantments, or Basic Land Cycle. Yeah, I think it's just it's Reclamation or, or, or a Dual Land here. This card's kind of cool. I've never, never seen this card in my entire life. Um... Hmm. Spider's a blocker. We don't, I don't think we're going to need a card like that. I'm thinking this card. Let's try it. Bailoth Null's a house. Uh, I don't know how many creatures they're going to have, though. So... You see this card tabling? You're out of your mind. Out of your mind. No way. Not a chance. All right. Take the bail off null. Oh, which is kind of cool too, actually. It's like a four two, but trades and turns into a win condition. But bail off null is busted. Brings back two creatures. It's mega value. I'm taking all the mega value cards. We'll figure out how to. We'll figure out how to figure out how to make it work later. All right. Um, annihilate. Uh, okay. I mean, I it's cool. It's the cantrip kill spell. Um, Faith Fetters is also pretty good. It's a kill spell that gains life. Why is Undo rising in here? I have no idea, honestly. We're not ever going to cast Mystic. Um... I think it's Faith Fetters. I think the life gain is important if you do play against an aggro deck. Kazmina? It's kind of cool there's Planeswalkers in this, too. Um, Alright, so... Kazmina is pretty cool. Mortify is pretty good, too. And Kazmina isn't like a... You know, it doesn't go up, so I'm not really up cool with Kazmina. I think Mortify kind of fits what we're doing here. Right now, we're, we're, we're kind of like sliding into Abzan. Um, kind of like what we're doing here. Crusher's like, it's nothing compared to Summoner or Bail. No, it just dies, so. I envision a lot of removal in these decks. Um, all right. Palladium Mirror or Sunscore Champion, or we take the Honden and just like try and make that happen, which is like pretty ambitious, but, um, Palladium Mirror is pretty good. Doesn't really help us a ton, honestly, color wise. What's this guard? First Sphere Gargantuan? Eh, that card's okay. Reinforcements is pretty cool. I can board this. Actually, this is a good, this is a good sideboard card. It's not Square Champion. That's a good anti aggro sideboard card. Okay, so Barter of Blood Tables and Abzan Charm Tables. So it looks like Abzan's pretty open. Uh, Abzan Charm's pretty tight. Barter and Blood is good, but I don't think it it's exactly what we want to be doing. And I imagine the decks are going to be grindy anyway, so it won't be that good. Um, let me just take Abzan Charm here. I don't like Barter, but I just don't think only Barter and Blood is good. What? Oh, come on. I, th I clicked the other card. That's so stupid. I thought I clicked it. All right, whatever. Goodbye, Abzan Charm. That sucks. All right. I mean, I don't think we're playing any of these cards. Why is everything so small? Is I reinstalled Magic Online. I haven't drafted since then. It's really, really annoying. Pretty sure I had it highlighted, but all right. I doubt we're playing Ban Charm, but it's a late Armadillo Cloak. I mean, Helix is honestly, if we have a red source, it's really good. I don't know if we will or not, but put that there for now. Lesser Master Core. It's and Mardu Rough Rider. Hey, oh, that's the Rough Riders roll. All right, so Persecution is a nice, uh, a nice card to have uh, on our sideboard. Regal Bloodlord. And stuff, you gain life, make a bat. Guard Mage. 
Splendor Mare. I mean, Harmonize is pretty nice. I don't know if we're blue or not, you know? Um, Watcher is... I don't know if we're blue, you know? And then... Oblivion Ring's okay. But I think I want Harmonize. I think Gruel Signet's also in the conversation, too. Helps to splash Smiting Helix if we play that. Ramp is really important. It's one off color, but... Hmm. Harmonizer Signet. I'm not convinced that we are... Uh, I want to play red at all, so... Alright. I need to harmonize. Look at fixing. Kitchen Finks is perfect. Perfect good threat slash good defensive card. Uh, perfect. So Conrad. Start and finish. Cute card. Tusker. Fleece Ram. My table. Definitely Kitchen Finks here. Easy, easy Kitchen Finks. Elite Scale Guard. Was it like Bolster 2? That's a house. Tribelder, awesome. And Falls and Simic Signet. But Tribelder's like the nut. It's like the perfect card. Um, I would love to table uh, Familiar Falls Signet. I can't imagine we'll table the Signet, but Tribelder's perfect here. Yamori the Open Fist. That card's cool. Uh, treacherous Terrain. Does damage equal to, to each opponent equal to the number of lands that player controls? What a dumb card. Volition Reigns. Uh, I think we're just uh, Wayfarer's Bobble here. Modern was great. We had a great day playing Modern. We got a trophy in one of, one of our decks. Just We're just done. We're playing other stuff now. Um... So yeah, it's like, I mean, Burnished Heart is really, really slow and vulnerable. Pretty happy with Bobble. Uh, there's Bounce Lands, too? Ooh, I love Bounce Lands. Uh, Eternal Witness is also really good, though. All right, these cards are a little too big. So, Bounce Land, Witness. Yeah, we're probably just going just gonna to be playing, uh, not be playing blue. We'll see. Yeah, Bounce Lands are really, really good. Uh, Witness is also really good, though. It makes our Bailoth Null bail better, too. All right, I'll take the Bounce Land, though. An expanse. All right. Battle Priest, Doomfall, Griffin Guide, Penumbra Worm, Shriek Maw. Ooh. Shriek Maw or Expanse. Shriek Maw is perfect. With Bailout Null, too. Yeah, it's got to be Shriek Maw. Arback Stomper, Grohl Turf. Pristine Talisman is actually really good. I'm actually a pretty big fan of that card. Uh, it doesn't fix, but like the life is pretty cool. This card's cute. It's another like flickery card. Arbac Stomper is kind of a house too. I mean, Gruel Turf invites Smiting Helix a little bit. I'm gonna take the Stomper. It's like a hedge against Aggro decks. It's a fine card. Uh, on Earth. Not much to unearth here. Twin Blade Paladin, 3-3. Three, three. If you gain life, put a counter on it. 24 life, it is double strike. It's not very good. Uh, let's take unearth, probably won't play it, but whatever. Smiting Helix, oh my god! So Oblivion Ring Tables, uh, which we're pretty cool with. Uh, Return to Nature. Serrated Arrows, Tribal Flames. 
I mean, we've already passed up on two possible red sources, so I don't think we're playing Smiting Helix or Splashing a Red. Serrated Arrows is, like, honestly not great. It's, like, pretty weak overall. Um, Return to Nature is, like, you already have a Disenchant. I'll take the Arrows, I guess. I'm probably board it, but... Okay, the Simic Land tabled. That's pretty cool. So we're not out of the woods yet for Evolution. I don't think I would splash Bant Charm, but Evolution is actually insane, so... You know, right now we're at eight or I guess sixteen playables. I mean, there's obviously, obviously cards over here we could play. So, yeah, Urban Evolution's awesome. Uh, Bronte on sweet. But definitely need a little help in the early parts of our curve. We have Shriek Maw too, though, and I like that we've done a good job maximizing our creatures for Bailout Null. We've got some good late game and Bailout Null Summoner Eldritch Reborn. Um, we have some life gain Palaka Worm too. Palaka Worm is the nut. No, we're playing Evolution for sure. I don't think we're playing Banch Charm, but definitely want to see like a Cultivate or a Rampant Growth or some Signature or something, but. What's up, Tits? You ever, you ever read Palaka Worm? You ever read this card? You pick yours. Whatever, these cards don't matter. Just got Charm. Right where it belongs, last pick. Gain seven, 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 trample, dies, draw a card. House. I have read that before. House. All right. On the phone? Yeah. Zibby time. Okay. Give me some zibbies. Mm -hmm. Rot farm. Tatiova. Peace strider. Uh, Sabertooth. Ulcerate. It's kind of a, a mopey pack. Just take rot farm here. Rank stage is probably fine, honestly, but Rot Farm's pretty great. Ooh, my god, this pack's insane. I can't even look at the cards. My eyes are darting back and forth so fast. Back for more. I guess there aren't, like, cycling creatures. The Vivid Marsh is cool. Spicer is cool. Llanowar Elves is cool. Slimefoot is cool. Um. Necrotal, Mindstone. I think I'd prefer Mindstone to Elvish Mystic in this deck, honestly. Um, Slimefoot is good, but slow. We have plenty of late game. Back for more is awesome. We don't have any cycling or self mill, so it's not really like a. It's not going to be as good as it is in, in, in uh, Ikoria Limited. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to Mindstone. I think I agree that we need stuff to do on turn two, and Mindstone's a pretty good one, so. We're going to Mind Stone. Slimefoot, like, makes tokens and then drains for tokens. It's really good in, like, normal drafts because it's just, like, a mana sink, but it's very, very clunky, and we have plenty of things to do with our mana, so... <sighs> this card's so cool. I love this card. It's so expensive, though. What is this? Right of the Raging Storm? Okay. Um, I mean, Arcane Sanctum is pretty nice, actually. It helps the blue splash. Shadow Mage is it uncommon? Wow. Sultai Soothsayer? That's not very good. I'm going to take Sanctum here, I think. Oh, Gravegower is good too, actually, but I don't have, I don't think it's a sacrifice to it, so. Ooh, this card's really good too. Malicious Recovery, or Rockabus Recovery, but we don't, have, we don't have ways to put things in the graveyard, so that's a different deck, I think. We should play the Sanctum. Oh, yeah, Signet. Love it. Oh, Opulent Palace too? It's gotta be Signet. We should do some things to do with our mana. Now we have plenty of blue sources for a splash. I might, I might have splash, splash, splash uh, Bant Charm also. Um, Opulent Palace is really, really nice, but it's gotta be Signet. We should need things to do with our mana. Baron Moore, Selesnia Signet, all coming together, folks. It's all coming together. See? All comes together. Sarah Angel, Blood for Bones, Trigon Predator. I mean, Trigon Predator is really good. I don't know how... Uh, he's a splash. 
Um, I don't know what else I would take here, realistically. So... I mean, like, we're... It looks like we're... That we're, we're almost more blue and just splashing white now. Kind of like Golgari double splash, honestly. Mm -hmm. I'll take the... The Trigon Predator. Breaker of Armies. Trump the Domains. I remember that card. Uh, Entomber Exarch. Cards. Okay. Uh, Rupture Spire. And Rupture Spire is cute. Put that card in the Pro Tour. And get Um. I mean, now we have two drops. Like, I'm not as excited about Rupture Spire. Is this non-creature card or instant sorcery? Is non-creature card? And two Brax arcs pretty good. That's a really late locks it on Warhammer. Uh, I don't think we want it, really. But let's take Prison Realm. Works for me. Uh, that's the wrong Strider on the lifelink one, or life gain one. Read the bones is whatever. We already have card draw. I don't want to lose life. I, I hate that card. It's just a tempo black hole. Earlier, I mean, ulcer rate's really bad, too. I, I'm, I'm going to take you three to play a, a bad removal spell. Um... So slime foot and back for more table. Uh, and slime foot's a two three also. It just blocks realistically. So I'm kind of fine with that. It's a creature. Six twenty five. Shadow mage infiltrator. Grave caller. Grave Caller is good, but all our creatures are good, so it's not going to be very good. Regrowth is like, okay, it's pack three. Um, I kind of want Shadow Mage, honestly. Acolyte of Affliction? Dead card's good. A lot of good cards. Jeez. Oh, what's the is it cards? Well, the drafts seem fun. Again, I don't know how good the gameplay will be. I definitely I agree with that. Alright, so... Put these here. Sort by color. White. This is blue. Fixing. Alright, so yeah, we're like. It's funny that we're not that heavy black, actually. We do have double black stuff, though. This is 27 cards. We need to cut a decent amount of cards here. Huh. What do we cut? I would say Acolyte of Affliction is not great in our deck. I guess Slimefoot's pretty bad. Band Charm is like a, a removal spell, a shatter, or a counter. It's or an instant. We have tons of fixing. We have Silver Reclamation. We have Tribe Elder. We have Signet Mindstone. To we have multiple lands. Yeah, fixing the fixing is good. We're we're fine on fixing. I'm not worried about that. Like you just like not play Trigon Predator, and just like lightly splash for Charm, Evolution, Shadow Mage. Shadow Mage is really good if it works. Um, this is twenty four. Yeah, it's fine. I'm happy with this. Play one island, yeah. Mana base is going to be fun. It's a sort by color. Uh, black, 
white. So white cards, green cards, everything cards. Okay, so double bounce land is awesome too. Uh, so one island. We have green, green, white, white, black, black, blue, blue. That's pretty funny. And we have two white signets also. Green, green, a lot of green symbols. That's probably fine. That'll yeah, work. That's fine. We'll do that. What do y'all think about my deck? How's the look? Do it live. Let's go. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. I don't really know what the uh, like, like the you know, the flow of the format is, but definitely looks sweet. We have a lot of a lot of haymakers, a lot of haymakers. Yeah, I'm not big on the lands. Would prefer if uh, they weren't those lands, but sure. Going first, and we have a one lander. God, come on. Second land here gives us reclamation and bobble tilt. All right, that's better. Um, let's keep this. We're pretty close to casting Band Charm. It's our only interactive spell. And Tumor Exarch is not bad. I'm going to be pretty greedy. I imagine most decks are going to just be Grindfest decks anyway, so I doubt we'll be playing as an aggro deck. We have a sideboard for aggro, aggro decks, so... I'm going to pitch the Worm, too. I'm, just, I'm a little greedy. Bounce land on the draw. Opponent also mulliganed. Alright, so I mean, we have Entomb Rex Arc into Eldest Reborn, which is pretty freaking good, so. Discarded a Psychic Symbiote. Come into play, discard and draw. Orzov Enforcer. Alright. Alright, so pretty easy entomber duress here. Obviously the enforcer makes our elders are born look dumb, but we have we now have a card to get, we can get their stuff, right? Yes, yeah, so we get this we get to steal this thing with Elders Born too, so. Their hand is. Hey! <laughs> they also have El oh my god, their hand's insane. Control Magic, Sabotage, Eldest Reborn, Ribbons of Night, Horror. Uh, Ribbons of Night is really good. I mean, they can't cast anything currently, so... Control Magic is also good. We have Mortify, which isn't that bad. They have Force Spike. I'm just taking Eldest Reborn, I think. Yeah, definitely grind fest. Two K twenty. All right. No land drop. And we're not going to play into four spikes, so we'll just say go. Yeah, seeing four spike definitely makes four spike a little bit worse. You know, just a tiny bit. They draw a swamp, sure. Pretty sure we just crank Eldest Reborn. Just like get this thing back. You can't get Sabotage yet. Just get it out there. Remand. That's pretty annoying. Yeah, you kept the worm for a reason. It's grind fest, you know? Keep your good cards. 
They're playing Radiant Fountain? That is so greedy. So still can't cast uh, Sabotage. They have one unknown card. They do have a Horror, though. So that means they, can, they could theoretically bounce the thing that I get with Eldritch Reborn back to their hand. It's kind of annoying. Uh, huh. I'll still I'll still draw a card. I'll still have lost a card off of it. Hmm. Let me still do it. Okay. Well, they've drawn some good ones. Their deck does seem good. Fortunately, counter spells do seem pretty good in this format. Uh, all right, so there's your horror. Feels pretty bad. Just gonna ditch the Brontodon. This just seems not good. We already have Mortify also, so. Hmm. All right. Well, now they have uh, Sabotage and Control Magic available, so it's pretty bad for us. Ah, I, I screwed up. I should have fettered this, or cast this, or I, I, I was I thought I was casting Mortify for a second. I, I have to keep Mortify for Control Magic. That was really stupid. I should wasted a turn. Oh, that was bad. Our box stomper. That's really, really aggressive, sure. They've been an island, sure. So they have four spike, ribbons, control magic. Oh, this this is this is where I cast this card, unless it targets control magic. So, they ribbon tonight. We untap. We cast Arbok Stomper. Yep, ribbons is really good. Three cards left. That's a big one too. I still have four spike though, so Stomper it is. We got some boom booms here, you know, like two huge spells and a counter to their control magic. And they have a four spike and some cards. Yep. It's 
It's pretty good too, honestly. Um, I'm going to do this right now so we can have it back to block, I guess. Mortified, petrified, stupefied. I'll buy you. I think we just say go. Um, they have a kill spell. I want to block everything on the on the horror. So I'll just say go. We have two monster bombs in our hand. And they're flooding, which is good. Cool. We have a land too. Cool. I'm gonna worm. I think the worm is better than the summoner, but I think it's likely to resolve through this four spike and whatever else they have, and it actually attacks. Whereas the the three three and the two two can't do much against this horror. So play another land, and I think we've turned the corner, folks. Palaka Worm is here to stay. Boom Booms for days. Nice force spike. Harsh Scrutiny. Uh, that would have been good last turn, or a turn before it. Not this turn, though. Not this turn. Yeah. I um, mean, they flooded a bit to help us out a little bit, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, so blue, black, grindy stuff. A lot of counter spells. Um, I think f slime foot seems good here. Uh, as does acolyte of affliction. And cut the reclamation. I guess it answers control magic, but um, this Bronzadon does too. We got like a Prison Realm, maybe. I don't think we need that many removal spells. No, I think we, we still want Shadow Mage. There are not that many creatures in their deck, so. See maybe cutting Shriek Maul actually. We have other kill spells. Yeah, you know what? Let's cut Shriek Maul. Pretty happy with this. We're, we're definitely, I feel like we're a slight dog because our counter spells just seem so good, but. It's good. Don't get force spiked. Number one rule of the day. Alright. If you have force bike the mindstone, force bike the mindstone, whatever. Finky Dinky. Mesmeric Glare. That's pretty good. Sure. Let's have a 2-1 flyer. That's pretty cool. All right, so... Stowaway. If 
they horror us in two turns would be pretty bad, but... That's a... That's an extremely ambitious control magic. Like, extremely ambitious. Uh, this is round one. I'll take that back, please. Thank you. Mortified, petrified, stupefied. How about you? This is four to activate, right? Yeah. So we're a little short on the stowaway, but... They kind of need to deal with this. Otherwise, we're just going to say go every turn. Sure, this is great. So now you, should, now you get to rock Elderstorborn. Alright, we are bounce landing it up here. Yeah, a little, a little flooded, but Eldritch Reborn's pretty good, so. Okay, that's really good. I doubt we're casting it, though. I don't see, I don't feel any, any, any pressure to cast anything into their counter spells. They have five cards in hand, a bunch of ions. Discard Aetherize. Sure. Sack the Mind Stone. Alright, I mean, I guess you're up. Next turn we get back slime foot, all of our mana untapped. Which is pretty good, so. Their deck's good, but I'm not too worried. Get back slime foot the stowaway. Play eighth mana and just say go. Good cyborg harvest matchup. That's a big one. Okay. Well, there's your card draw spell, uh, Terror. It's a good one. Draw four cards. But now if I tap out for stuff, I can resolve Harmonize, hopefully, so... Sure. This isn't bad at all, honestly. Yeah, it's, that's a joke, actually, so. Still have two mana up. I assume the card, like, actual counterspell is in this cube. So I think we're playing Harmonize next turn. Ooh, that's a boom boom. Uh, two, four, five, six, seven, and three left over. Could go Summoner into Shadow Mage. Or could... Alright, they had Remandy last game, didn't they? They had Remand, yeah. That would be kind of gross. Um, four, eight, nine, ten mana. Okay. Sure. It's Supreme World too, yeah. Comes into play, I discard and they draw. It's a three three flyer. Sure. 
Obviously, you have plenty of land to discard here, so not really worry about that. Leaving up blue, blue, blue. Bant Charm? That's kind of tight, actually. Only have one blue source. We can like counter back though. So activate, activate three left. Or seven and four. Summoner's like only medium at the moment. I guess once the, the horror dies, it gets a lot better. Actual factual counter spells. We can defend here with Bant Charm. I would say we want to do that. Killing one four four seems worse than putting a four four three three two two and a one in play. So, is the stream still working? Can y'all see me? I've been having router issues and stuff. Basically, every kind of issue you can have. I got it. Harsh Scrutiny. So, pretty annoying because the Stomper is kind of nice, but not the end of the world, honestly. If we just make three tokens a turn for the rest of the game, we're probably going to win, so. They scry top, and they ponder. That's kind of scary. Like, if they have a way to kill my slime foot, um, things get kind of ugly. They don't shuffle. That's not a problem. All right, maybe I'll board out Shadow Mage for game three if there's a game three. So, four, four, three. I kind of like just casting O Ring here. Hit the horror and just smash everything. Sure. Oh, they're impulsing. Sure. I almost had a cards here, honestly. We're going to get in for a lot. They get seven. So they have five in the air now, but we just have... At least they have ribbons of night. That's, that's pretty scary. We can make two tokens right now. They could definitely steal this game. Um, losing Arbok Stomper really kind of sucked, honestly. If they had ribbons on the four four right now, and they can just buy, they can just buy enough time to attack twice and kill me. Wing Splicer. Yeah, we might lose this game. It kind of sucks, but. We need to draw like a kill spell, basically. All those Baleful Strix stacks, you know, they play well.
Damn. That's a sweet earth. Uh, Alright. I mean, everything's coming in. Except for Steinfoot. They block. This is a trampler. They can, like, kill this. Block this. I guess the slime was lethal, too. But, yeah, it was just fire in. Alright, sweet. Cool. First round victory. If you're spinning and welcome to the stream, my name is Jim Davis. We're playing uh, Amaz's Cube. This is our deck, and it's pretty sweet. And um, we grind it away here. 1-0. 1-0. If you haven't followed us, you that follow button, of course, watching on YouTube. Make sure you follow on there. Check out this uh, commercial. Introducing CoolStuffInc.com Live Buys. This unique service makes it safe and easy to sell your cards and minis. Using any variety of video chat services, we'll review your collection in a live appraisal. Check out CoolStuffInc.com slash buy list for more information. Pretty cool. You can hop on there and they'll uh, you can sell your cards live. No fingering through a buy list. Just like you're at a GP at the dealer booth selling some cards, making some money. Pretty sweet. CoolStuffInc.com. Now if you're to buy stuff, promo code Jim5, 5% off your order. CoolStuffInc.com. A dot com. Round two, let's go. Yeah, it's awesome. It's a really, really good idea in the current climate we live in. Uh, this hand is pretty terrible. Uh, we're going to mulligan this hand. All right. I mean, Reclamation coming in clutch here. Um, I'm going to ship the Bailoth Null. We're going to end up shuffling it back anyway. It's only really good like later in the game. So... And paper, paper Magic is not happening for a long time. Like, I don't think I'm comfortable going to a Paper Magic tournament until there's a vaccine for for COVID-19. So that's like a year a year plus out probably. So I mean, Paper Magic has got, it's a long way for playing Paper Magic again, which sucks, but Spined Thopter. So we got the aggro deck here. Interesting. And a client that's prone to give adult seizures? What? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? All right, so um, we just mine stone here. Yeah. All right, I mean, we've got reclamation uh, or land reclamation or so signet reclamation land. Mask of memory. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, four stars in chat. They skipped their combat step. Awkward. Awkward, awkward, awkward. Hate to see it. They, they will get at least one hit in, though. So, All right, so cycle. It's funny, actually, because this is actually insane right now. Kills the Thopter and the Mask. We don't have any lands, though. Arena's great. I don't know what you're talking about. I think we just cycle. We gotta make land drops. We're not gonna win the game by not making land drops. So, let's get a... Planes, probably? This is the Amaz cube, yeah. Skamaz, I don't know what you're talking about. Amaz is a, is a magic player, Hearthstone player. Alright. So they go, let them, let them get their mask and we're hit in, and then we'll uh, we use Faith Fetters, we can, we can harmonize. We can go like Fetters, if you draw a land, we can go like, harmonize Oblivion, Oblivion Ring the following turn, so. Amaz's nickname is Skamaz. Why? Is that a good nickname or a bad nickname? It's 
This card's sweet. Draw two, discard one. End step? Nothing else? Wow. Ooh, ah, uh, can't cast it. Tilt. Can't cast anything, actually. Why did I get a forest? What was I thinking? Why is that a... Why would you say that? We don't we don't disparage fellow, fellow streamers or anyone on the stream, so... Yeah, getting a plant is really stupid. I'm trying to protect against my my signet dying, but I just have like a harmonize in my hand that I can't cast now, so. So we just need to draw basically any land. Black land, green land. Experiment one. All right, it might just Oblivion Ring the Mask Memory next turn. Probably have, like, Kill Spells in their hand, I would guess. Ho, 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 ho. Stop everything you're doing. We're casting this card. Ah, crap. Uh, well, there's the Forest and the Swamp we wanted. So, let's go. Well, I guess that's actually a little bit of Nambo there, isn't it? Eldritch Reborn and Faith Fetters in the same deck? All right. It's fair. Fair. All right. So, Memory, draw two, discard one. Pretty busted. It's hard to land against. So they're kind of flooded here, but... Signet? Okay. When this card dies, make an XX elemental where X is the number of creature cards in your graveyard. It's at least a 1-1. One, one. All right. Um, Signet. So we can, like, O-Ring and then Death Sprout the Experiment one. Yeah. So I don't want to get masked anymore. So there you go. Oh, all right, yeah, whatever. I mean, just, just be nice. Be nice to everyone. Amaz team with my friends, uh, Tannen and Brennan, my former BCW teammates at a Pro Tour 25th anniversary. They did well. Get ourselves uh, a something here. Forest, I guess? I don't know. Swamp, forest, whatever. Does it matter? Island. Two white sources, two blue sources. Two white sources. Two black and... Let's get forest, I guess. Whatever. Desperate art is pretty cool. Ooh, that's a good one. Jade Mage. So, Elders are Born looks pretty poopy, but we have plenty of other stuff to do, so... Uh, two, four, six, seven, and two. Alright, let's cast Signet and cast Chomner. Some of my favorite card arts. Uh, I like the art for the card Highland Lake. It's like a stupid, uncommon, like, tap duel, but I just always don't like that art a lot for some reason. It just, like, stands out to me as very, like, evoking visually. I tend to like land arts. Um, I don't know. I'd have to like think about it or go like, look through a binder or something like that. All right. Army and can. They get to make one token off this thing. Two tokens off this thing. This card's good. Pretty good. So Elders of Born is not going to be very good as far as like the sacrifice effect, but still can get back a creature, make them discard, etc., etc. Firewing Phoenix. Just a 4 2, they can bounce back to their hand at times. Sure. Hmm. 
Huh. Draw three cards. Prison Realm is nice. Uh, should we Entomber Exarch first to check their hand? Sure. Play it safe. Jaya's reading on the 1-1. One, one. So that's pretty cool because now we have Eldritch Born to get it back. So I'm not sure. Spire spawning? And they discard it. Okay. We don't have any creatures in the graveyard, so whatever. Alright, and then we Prison Realm, the old Firewing Phoenix, smash with our team. Bottom of the bobble. Send in the clowns. They're kind of weird. They just like flooded a lot this game, I guess. It's weird because they hit with mask and memory twice and discarded a land both times, but. We're flooding too, but all right. Sack the mine stone. Oh my god! All right, uh, smash. They can make two tokens. One mana off, making three tokens. Obviously, our trades here aren't all going to be amazing, but we're just playing Eldritch Born anyway. Get back Summoner in two turns. It's fine. Well, I guess we allowed them to hit with hit with mask here by accident. And eh, maybe I should let the let the two two back. It's funny how like, the, the first chapter is actually bad, because it's putting a creature in the graveyard for spider spawning. But they only have two in their graveyard right now, so whatever, it's fun. Alright, well... They're also, they're also at four, so... This is seven to flashback. So it's difficult to like get it with mask of memory and spider spawning and not die and so on and so forth. But they're doing it. They're going in. All right, they gotta beat my four four trample. I mean, two spiders would do that, you know. I guess not beat it, but not die to it. Three cards in hand. Here it comes. Here comes big money. Let's go. Here comes something. Lebrontodon James. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. They can kill the Prison Realm to get back the this. They can kill the Seed. You have to get Seed Guardian back. Uh, they probably want to get back the 4-2 Flyer, honestly, but they're still dead on board, so I don't think that necessarily changes anything.
Killing the Eldest Reborn. That is extremely bold. Okay. What kills this, uh, this rhinoceros here? With the old trample trample. Maybe they realize it had trample. Figured they were going to chump block it and go to one. If they have like flame spill here to kill this thing and go to one or something like that, it could be in trouble. Um, we do actually have no spells, so... Beast within, good call, M. Night Shyamalan. So they're going to Beast within the Oblivion Ring. So I get a 3-3. Three, three. They get back their Seed Guardian, but they have to chump block the 4-4 four, four and go to 1 anyway. And then when that dies, they get a 1-2, they get a 4-4. Four, four. All right. I mean, they're doing things. They are at 1. M. Night Shyamalan with the calls in chat. Now they can flash back to spider spawning for a pretty decent amount. It's four spiders. I mean, we do have mostly spells in our deck. We have 15 cards left. We have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, we have four lands and 11 spells left. <laughs> Of. Uh, so like we're you know they, they have to like actually kill us too but I think our attacks are no longer good here four spiders here I attack with everything they block the 4-4 four, four on a maybe our attacks are fine if I attack with everything what can they do they can just I guess they can just like chump chump Chump, chump, trade a 4-4. Four, four, and they end up with... We end up with a 3-3 three, three and a 3-3 three, three versus a Jade Mage, a bunch of mana, and two spiders. Hmm. I mean, the bobble's on the bottom, so... We scried it there. We swing out. 4-4 four, four on the 4-4. Four, four. Chump each one. They can't put all the spiders onto the... I think they, they go spider, spider, spider on beast and then chump the other beast. So we're tra trading our board for a 4-4 four, four and two spiders. That's bad. Let's just say go. We don't want their mask to hit either. Obviously they have the Jade Mage too, which is pretty annoying, but like... Yeah, I mean, we just have a ton of spells we're drawing to, and they're at one life, so I'm not really, like, super worried, but we could definitely lose this game. Vithian Stinger. It's a cool card. Back when they used to make common pingers. Terrible for limited. Just awful. Can't believe they made common red pingers for so long. Damn. <gasps> Damn. Alright, uh... Yeah. Let's, uh, get back Entomber, Exarch, and Trustani Summoner. Probably should have attacked first, actually, but so now our trades look much better, obviously. Yeah, we just attack. Palak Null. Pig Mama. So Palaka Worm in our deck, too. And some kill spells.
So the blocks here aren't going to be great for us, but I think making some trades is like pretty good given the current. We're trying to thin this board out so our attacks are better next turn. Probably. Maybe not. I don't know. I mean, we're just going to ram Trasani Summoner. We have like a loop now. We have a two, we have the, the Entombor Exarch and get back Baalth Null. Baalth Null gets back then to Exarch and the Trasani Summoner. And then just, just, just keep looping it. So like... We're going to play Trasani Summoner over and over and over and over again. It's the, uh, it's the real story here. Burning Fist Minotaur. Discard a card. Gets plus two plus up. Sure. Tybalt's Rager. When it dies, deal one to any target. Okay. Sure. So... Just... Mashing. Hmm. Cycle Deem Worthy. Two damage to target creature, not each creature. I almost screamed. Uh, okay. That's dead. So, Baloth Null, the 4 4. It's funny, we're going to talk about the summoner, so you like, like, want it to actively die. Um, he does everything again. You figure it out, whatever. So like the the one one has to die, unless they want to block it with the O one, and then we can get it back with the Tumor X arc, or just kind of go from there and figure it out what we're going to do. So if we if we get back the Tristani with the Tumor X arc, we actually can't loop it anymore, but like one more summoner might be enough anyway. So we'll see what they do. I guess the, the first dragger can block a 3-3 a three, three and they can ping it. So Summoner is going to kill the Stinger, which is actually pretty cool. So the, the Summoner is going to stay in play. Cape Man, not only a sub, a tier 2 subscriber. Cape Man, thank you so much, my friend. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome, my friend. Thank you, Cape Man. Appreciate it. All right, so, uh, yeah, I mean, there you go. Ping that, so that dies. Why did they block two one twos on the 3-3? Three, three? Oh, got it. Is that when that thing dies, it deals one? Sure. Either way, we managed to clean this board up pretty good, so... Blood Braid Elf. Wow, that's a good one. It hits. Gruel Signet. We also have Slime Foot in our deck, which is actually unbeatable on this board. So, Cape Man says, Aaron from Santa, Santa Ana, California. A huge fan. Thank you, my friend. Seriously, I appreciate it very, very much. So we're just coming in again next turn. I respect that. I respect that attack opponent. Ooh, look at this. Getting frisky. Dead to any removal spell now? All right. I mean, no, 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 never mind. They have a token, never mind. All right, untap. Kitchen Finks, pretty good. Um, 
Send in the clowns. So something's got to block that. And now they're 15. I think we're just going to a tumor exarch the Tristani. They can just keep chumping Bailed Null forever, so. Just all that, your turn. So now we have eight lethal attackers for their five blockers. They can make, they have seven, eight, they, they can make three three sapperlings to block too. We have a trampler though too, so I think we're in good shape. I think we're in good shape. Yeah, concession. All right, cool. Who would have thought that casting for science timer four times in one game would be good enough, you know? Their deck's interesting. Um, I would say you want to bring in Zealous Persecution. They had some X1s, right? Um, a oh, slime in our sideboard, actually. Oh, that's interesting. Um, I would say that Eldest Reborn, it's still good, right? We can't... I think it's actually... I mean, they have so many, like, crappy creatures and tokens and stuff. I'll probably take that out. I like Slimefoot. I think I like Acolyte. Um... Persecution, take out Bant Charm. Uh, I just kind of land him a draw, honestly. I feel like maybe we've been drawing plenty of lands. It's kind of swamp. Because I'm greedy. Yeah, Helix, like, we can't flash it back. So I think a four mana Lightning Helix is just, like, pretty bad. Head's yeah, great. Uh, long stream today. All right. I mean, third forest is not exactly what we're looking for, but we've got Brontodon, Prison Realm, Urban Evolution, Tibbles. This card's like bad, like right? Like this card seems does not seem very good. Ooh. Sex turns Realm or Brontodon. Ooh, that's a good one. All right, Realm it is. Annex is pretty powerful. Let's get to Scry for a land. I'd love a Bounce Land here. Bounce Land would be awesome. Yeah, that plays too. Perfect mana. I don't know, bottom. Perfect mana. Love to see it. Spine Thopters here. Give me that Zealous Persecution back, you know? Alright. Urban Evolution all day, every day. I, I, I just love this card. I'm just all about it. Ho! Oh! We're Amulet Titan, folks. Uh, pump the Rager, sure. There's a little bop here for five, a little bop. Three, four, five, yeah. All right. Turn five, Prasani Summoner.
Next turn is probably Brontodon and Entombed to arrest them. We'll see what we'll see what they do. Take two. Just gotta not die to this flyer here. It's actually a Brontodon to kill it if we need to. So. Good. We get back their uh, their annex if they want it. Oh, too much. I told y'all Dressani Summoner was the nut. You didn't want to listen to me, but I told y'all. Their hand is Ulamog's Crusher, Bloodbraid Elf, Shonder's Outrage, Deem Worthy. Uh, I think it's Shonder's Outrage. Crusher's not bad. We don't have an answer to Crusher. Uh, all right. I think the 4-4 four four can go in. Hmm. Oh, sure, that's fine. I'm cool with this. They take two, clear the board up a little bit. Play LeBron James. Bloodbraid Elf, sure. Gruel Signet, again, LOL. I mean, they are ramping towards Ulmash Crusher. It's not the worst, but... And Mask of Memory, okay. I'm just gonna kill the the Thopter uh, now to not take the extra damage off of it. I also have a creep, creep, put creatures in the graveyard for Bailout Null anyway, so I'll draw a spell this turn like pretty bad. And I think I cut a land too, you know. Attacking with Exarch and Tristani is too obvious. Ryan Overturf. Thanks for the raid, my friend. I appreciate it. Um, Ryan Overturf's the bomb. Good people. Check out his stream. He's the man. Uh, thanks, Ryan. I appreciate that. We're doing some... Uh, we played Modern all day, and we're finishing up with a, uh, a Maz cube draft here. Uh, we are 1-0 one, one oh, up a game in round 2 with a pretty cool like 4 color -y, grindy value deck. I think any attack here just screams I have recursion and they would just never block. Like I thought with this they never block in a million years. So we're just going to play uh, I guess play a bounce land. Let's say go. We're we board a land out. Do we only play 15 lands? Uh, we draw a lot of cards, but you can see our our deck was on the overlay, of course, thanks to Cardboard Live. That's pretty good. And this is kind of stalled out board board state. LeBron James. Come on. Troy Burger, you're a sub now. What's anyway from local, my friend? Thanks, Sean. I mean, we can just block Wilmog's Crusher with a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm not like super worried about Crusher. 
I guess they have this thing too, but... Four, six, seven mana. I'll try to spell this turn. Spell. That's a... That, that... Woo. That spell right there. I feel like that spell. It's a good spell. All right, so... uh, Yeah. Ship it. Nope. Bad tap. Oh, I hate tapping lands on Magic Online. Palaka Laka Laka Worm. No, I won last game. you love to see it. All right. Uh... Just say go. I mean, that's a that's a boom boom to get in next turn for sure. And once this dies, you have Bail Doll to get a pack. And oh, that feels nice. Two, four, seven mana. So they have Deemworthy, Crusher, Card in hand. This is unreal. All right, coming in. Yes, please. Did I have enough mana to cast uh, Null and Block Worm? This is actually unbelievable. Uh, what is this? 5, 10, 11, 12. This is 13 of our 15 lands. Our deck is 17 spells and 2 lands. And we're probably still going to win, too. That's the cool part. So we are one short of recasting Block Worm. It's a shame. It's a shame. It's a shame. It's okay, though. It's okay. It'll be alright. Pale off Null. House. 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 And I could brought it on them off of a Signet to deny them Ulamog's Crusher next turn. Um, I don't hate because the 3-4 body doesn't matter that much, and the mask and memory doesn't matter that much. So I think I kind of like that. It takes their black source, too, because they're splashing black for the flashback on spider spawning. I actually like that a lot. Yeah, we've given up on Trasani dying. I think looping block orb is good enough for us, and we're drawing a spell every turn for the rest of the game. So... Yeah. <sighs> yeah. 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 Um. Hmm. Now I've casted all the things, so let's see what they do here. Yeah. Alright, so kill a bunch of their stuff. They take one. We play Acolyte of Affliction. Get back Bailoth Null. This is the song that never ends. Yes, it goes on and on, my friends. Some people started singing it and not knowing what it was. 
and they'll keep paying Palaka Worm and forever just because this is the Palaka Worm that never ends. It, eat, was it, it eats what it wants to eat, which is anything that moves. Yeah. A little too much for him. A little too much for him. This is how you draft this cube. I already figured it out. Just grind fest. Grind fest, grind fest, grind fest. Null Drifter, love it. So what's up, Swallow? If you haven't followed the stream with that follow button, of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. Welcome, everyone. Finishing up a nice long day here. Played some really cool modern decks earlier. Uh, Naya, Winonta, Loris Aristocrats, and uh, Blue Living End with a cycling sideboard. It was awesome. Look for all those on YouTube. Missed them. Going for a trophy here in our first and only Amaz Cube. First and only. T Fabs, thanks for following. Appreciate that. A raid is incoming. Strong side and emails. What's up, Todd? It's Armagoat. You played me when I was playing Living End? Well, I boarded into uh I boarded into uh Flourishing Fox and stuff, so don't think anyone else is doing that. Todd, thanks for the raid, my friend. I appreciate it. All folks coming in from Todd's stream, welcome. My name is Jim Davis. How's it going? We we're playing uh, the Amaz Q. We played a lot of modern today. Uh, if you missed it, I'll show you the decks I played real fast. They're all on my Twitter. You can look for all those on YouTube. And we're uh, finishing up the stream today with a Amaz Peasant Cube draft. Only commons and uncommons. Our deck is great. We are 2 0. So I played, I played this Jess Guy Winona deck. Jess Guy. I guess I ain't Jess Guy. Um, Naya Winona deck. We had a bunch of turn three kills. That one will be up on YouTube soon. Played this awesome Living End deck with blue and a, a Flourishing Fox sideboard. And played this deck with the Aristocrat deck. And uh, that was also awesome too. Check it out on my YouTube. It'll go up over the next few days. All right, keep. Hands great. Let's go. Put them all against the six. Isn't Grindfest the fate of every format without rares? It does tend to happen in these common uncommon cubes. I built one once. And this happened, and I didn't, I didn't really like it. Um, I was working on a Synergy Cube for a while, uh, where you don't put in cards like Palaka Worm and, and Harmonize. You put in, like, Goblins and Madness cards and like that. Never finished it, though. Um, so a little awkward. We do, we do have a bounce line of a draw, so... Vivid Meta. So I'd like to draw uh, basically any land or any two mana spell prophetic prism it's almost arkham's astrolabe almost i right, read your land cool uh all right so we say go i would like him to play something like in prison realm i just want to cast a spell before i play a bounce land so don't have a discard to hand size which is kind of ugly does not look like they're playing a spell here up oh, read your spell perfect perfect love it this is what the first Ravnica was all about. You play a Signet, do not have to discard the hand size, and you play your Bounce Land. Love it. Got the Boom Booms lined up. Vivid Creek. Mm -hmm. That's our opponent got here. That's a good card. Pretty solid card. Um... We can't cast Harmonize. We probably just have to cast Prison Realm, honestly. Like we can't just like not do anything, I don't think. Um We have two seven drops in our hand. Yeah, we're just gonna just gonna pop the, the token. Which is obviously awkward because like it's gonna untap their two three, but like it's gonna happen eventually anyway. And I we just have so much card draw and so many big boom boom, we just gotta like play our spells, I think, so. We get scry too. Not ideal. They can also have blink effects too, I guess, but yeah, I'll keep that. That's pretty nice. Um just play swamp and say go. So next sure we can catch Shadow Mage, play a bounce land, and start playing seven drops. I like that. I like that. No land. Interesting. Very interesting.
Nope, not gonna work either. Alright, sure. Alright, seven drops ahoy. You definitely have counter spells. You know, you might be inclined to play something else if they don't up oh, they're tapping out, it looks like. Mana War, sure. So Tristani Summoner or Palaka Worm? Definitely Tristani Summoner, right? Because they could have an O-ring effect for the Palaka Worm. Yeah, definitely. Easy game. This card's been a freaking house for us. One of our earliest picks in the draft. Just your average 7 mana 1-1. One, one. No big deal. No big deal. Uh, okay. Don't force spike me. A prior opponent had force spike. We get to see it with a duress effect and they play around it. No four spike, no mana tithe. <whistles> mana tithe got to be in the cube, right? All right, there's land five. I don't know what flicker effects are in the cube. Obviously, bouncing mana war to kill my tokens would be annoying, but don't think we're really too worried about that. Chillbringer. Okay. Alright, I mean... Ooh, Mortify. Mortify, Petrified, Stupefied. Um... Huh. I guess now we have Mortify for an enchantment on Palaka Worm. You could have like a source of Plowshares effect though too. Are there a lot of flicker effects? Hmm. I think he's like kind of like leaving the Mortify up. Let's play. Let's play Shadow Mage. Play Land. Say Go. Probably. Shadow Mage is also really good here. So. We do have Reclamation up too, I guess. Which is kind of cool. Whoa. <laughs> Curveball. Savage lands in the uh, in the Bant deck. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. Pretty sure we just mush. Uh, so this is definitely a, a blank effect. Actual momentary blink. All right. Well, we're gonna kill the the man of war. I think so it's just gonna save one of our creatures. Um, doesn't feel awesome, but I think it's fine. Can't flash it back yet either. So uh, we're two and zero. Doing pretty good. Deck's pretty pretty nice. Their next game's cool. Ho! Oh. Ho, oh, that's better than Harmonizes. Okay. Let's go. Love this card. Bailout Null. Man, we are cranking. Cranking. All cylinders. Full speed ahead.
black black. Murderous red cap? That's cute. Eh, sure, it's dead. It's kind of annoying. You can block my, my Shadow Mage, too. But alright, sure, whatever. Alright, so we're at 10 with Palaka Worm in our hand. Feels pretty good. Let's move to combat. Send him a squad. They have like a remove soul or a counter spell here. We might be in trouble, but... Alright, so pretty cute here. They get to kill my 3-3, which is fine. I'm happy with just trading the board off, obviously. Draw a card off Shadow Mage. Are the games as fun as the drafts? Ah, uh, they're pretty grindy. I like, like this kind of game, I think. Probably get tired of it after a while, but... Alright, I mean... Pretty sure it's just Palaka Worm. What do we have? 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. A lot of counting your mana. A lot of counting your mana. So 7. I mean, cast Shriek Maw, too, actually. Let's cast both. Palaka Laka Worm. The Shrieky Maw. Supernatural Stamina. So when it dies, it comes back. Mm. Sure. You got me. You got me. Yeah. If you if you like drawing cards and playing lands, it's definitely the format for you. Bounce lands and all sorts of stuff, you know? It just sucks that, like, this is really the only kind of deck that works in this format. You just, like, can't really draft an aggro deck. Um, you know, the, the, the card quality of, like, the Shriek Maws just blows away any sort of like synergy, but what is this? Turns a non-creature non-land, bringing back supernatural stamina, sure. Is that a loop? That's a loop, isn't it? They can just keep hitting this thing with that uh, that credit card they have, that's pretty funny. Uh, Alright. Let's uh, harmonize, I guess. Sure. Um, so they can keep supernatural stamina over and over again. So I guess just the fear creatures are getting in. Well, they can stamina the red cap, I guess, and kill one, and then comes back. No, we'll not come back. Yeah, we'll come back. Yeah, uh, and now we kill this too. They're, they're grinding here. They got some something, something nice, something nice set up, but we just send this in too. I have stamina everything. Whatever. We have like Finks and Plaka Worm and Belt Null and everything too, so I'm not really super worried. That's their only block? Right. So now that's gone forever, they can't get it back to the ward and everything. Actually, I guess they can, they can blink. Whatever, sure. Go to three, comes back, kill Shriek Maw, and then we can like, we could bail off Null the Shriek Maw and kill the Warden, which is probably what we want to do, actually. Because the Warden, they can flicker the Warden to get back the now, the stamina I keep kind of doing stuff, which is pretty annoying. Alright, so yeah, kill Shriek Maw. How much mana do we have? <laughs> Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So six, seven, eight, nine, so we need eleven to do that. 
I guess we're evoking Trigma. Eh, whatever. We're just like super ed. I think it's fine. Get back Shadow Mage and Streak Maw. Got two big tramplers in play too, so. Works for me. Works for me. The deck's kind of cool, though. Some blinky stuff. Um, we have anything cool against blinky stuff? I don't know. Not really, I guess. Definitely want to have instant speed removal, if possible. Excuse me. Their mana base is pretty wonky, um, so you can consider bringing in a card like Trigon Predator to kill their mana rocks and things like that. Um, they have flyers though. I don't know what I want to cut. I got. I'm not gonna cut a land. We've been, we've been flooded like a lot. We have bounce lands and signets and all this stuff. Just cut like a, a swamp. What's up, wannabe? Um, yeah, this works for me. Better than Brontodon? Nah, Brontodon's great. Just a big body. Good utility. Hey, how's it going? Not a great hand. Uh, we're on the draw. We have no proactive play and a bounce land. And that makes me kind of unhappy. But I don't think I want a mulligan. And discarding a swamp, the Basilic, is not the end of the world. Who's that a keep? I guess we should board this out. This card's terrible against them. They have all blank effects. That's an oopsie. Must be nice. Definitely better lucky than good. Draw the actual perfect card. And Tumor Exarch is also interesting. We'll see what they do next turn. I might actually just arrest them. Ooh, no land drop? Ouchie wowie. Uh, and a forest for us. Uh, Alright. I would like to play this game with eyes wide open. I'm just going to arrest them. Oh boy, they're hand is stacked. Chillbringer, Mana War, Red Cat. It's all creatures, too. <sighs> okay, uh, sure. So, 2 2 peak. I'd imagine there's a land under this Watcher for tomorrow. So, don't want that thing to die ever. Definitely want to get the, the Trigon Predator in play if they draw a, uh, a land of some kind. Oh, they're going to they're gonna do it. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, we should we should maybe like eh, whatever. No land for them. Brutal. So they didn't draw a land off Prism. And we get to eat their Prism with Predator unless they draw a land for Reflector Mage or Mana War. Big spot here. If they draw a land, we have a game. If they don't draw a land, we probably don't have a game here. Not coming in again. Blink the Watcher? Who watches the Watcher? Alright, so they get to put the card in their hand and then hide away again. 
I have to assume the card they put in their hand was a land, obviously. So they get to make their land drop here. The question is, is it too late? I mean, honestly, it's an island, too, so their mana base is kind of crappy. Um, prison Realm. I think I like that. That makes me happy. Get to leave a Bant Charm, too. Like Their mana base is ambitious. Uh, I guess they get the card anyway. Oh, I'm dumb. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of a Graveyard Trigger. That, that was stupid. I shouldn't have done that. I guess they can't blink it anymore, but that was still stupid. All right. I was thinking of, like, a, a Death Trigger. It's a Leaves, it's a leaves Play Trigger. So there's Reflector Mage. Which is fine. Or 14. <sighs> All right. A great hand for us. Like, we don't really have anything good to do. All of our cards are pretty reactive. Oh, ho, ho, ho. they just drew a land, turns on. It doesn't even turn their hand on because they still, they still have ready. I said that is the Ivis, never mind. So Rough Spire turns on their entire hand, which is pretty bad for us, because they actually have good cards in their hand, they just can't cast them. Little Brontodon, James. Another one land after Shani Summoner. And the problem is any blink effect they have is just like so good if I try to kill their stuff. Like Faith Fetters it? Oh god. Faith Fetters. Their deck is their deck is very good. Don't 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 underestimate their deck. Their deck is very good. Um I don't like this, but... They have a blink in their graveyard? What? When did that get there? They just that it... I don't remember the, that blink being there. That's really awkward. That changes everything. All right, well... I guess we can counter it with Bant Charm, but... I'll just say... 
go yeah I don't like how oh they blinked the watcher right I forgot about that uh, that's that makes my play really stupid all right let's just say go uh, ten hours of playing magic you know It's not that long, but seven cards in end. Deep analysis, that's their play. Oh, that's awesome. What's up, Roman? House coming along. It's been really busy, but it's coming. Never-ending parade of plumbers and electricians and contractors and so on and so forth. Let's see. One of the more ballsiest attacks I've ever seen in my life. Sure. Must have. Ooh. It's actually pretty good because the we actually want this to die. Uh, let's attack. They're just taking it. Wow. All right. Um, so. They get to play Tristani Summoner of his turn, or they get to play Skin Render. They can even flicker it. Uh, we're gonna struggle to win this game, honestly. It's gonna be pretty tough. I don't think we can gas Trigon Predator. I think we should just say go. Like a mosh, they'll go up over the, over the next few days. Usually one video a day. They get spread out. Like this video will probably go up tomorrow because it's more more relevant to uh, to uh, it's like current, you know, currently relevant. Whereas uh, the modern decks will go up over the next few days. Right, so they're gonna skin render and then they can blink it. We can counter the blink with the band charm, but. It's not ideal. Look how aggressive they are, too. That's a boom boom. Pains on spoilers for core. I mean, I haven't looked too closely at it. It's got a crag, so their hand is red cap, summoner, chillbringer. Yikes. Only have one blue source. Oh. I think we've played this game pretty badly. I don't know. We're going to play Oblivion Ring. We're going to target Skin Render. And we're going to destroy the Oblivion Ring with our, with our Brontodon. So it goes away forever. I mean, they, I guess they blink here. I kind of want this in the, in the graveyard. But I guess... Yeah, I, I, I actively want this in the graveyard. I'm just going to kill this in response. So they would lose it forever because of how it stacks. They'll probably attempt to flicker on the skin render. I'll counter the flashback blink with my Bant Charm. No? All right. I'll attack for two. Huh. 
I mean, next turn the Eldritch Reborn goes off. That's pretty cool. Alright, whatever. I can't one-shot it anymore with the 3-3 three, three thing. Exclude, sure. Obviously, Bail of Null is more important than that. And they're being really conservative. They're just like not casting this Trasani Summoner. I guess they have Blink up again. That's a boom boom. Uh, I guess it's just... Brontodon? Remember the counterspell? It's a boom boom. It's a boom boom for real. This game's all really grindy. Blink, Man of War. Bouncing what? Plock a worm? Alright, sure. Like. <laughs> I get to do it again? Alright, sure. Two cards left, one of which is red cap. Okay, so their last card is Murderous Red Cap. They got four spike. On the Shrive Elder. I like I would have held that, honestly. All the recursion and stuff. Might have spiked an important card at some point. Like, Shrive Elder could not be more worthless. Like. Aw, oh, crap. Well, they had one card and then. Oh, God. Oh, they don't have any blank effects. I think if I exclude, though. Back deep analysis. All right. Band charm trampled cheese would be pretty nice. We got him. We got him. That's the game. Bye bye. That's a pretty risky block. 
Like, it's not like I'm, I'm like not, I'm like, I'm playing black too. Like, I have rule spells. That's the trophy, folks. Put it in the books. I have a career 1,000 game win percentage. I'm batting 1,000. Match win percentage. I've trophied every single draft I've played in that format. I know where my deck went. I can't show it to you anymore. Probably can't show it to you anymore. But, uh, yeah. So, if you want to draft that format, that's how you do it. Just grind, 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 grind. Take cards like Palaka Worm and Shastani Summoner. Make sure you can cast them with Signets. Just make sure that every card draws a card, basically. Bailoth Null. Draw more cards. Draw more cards. Grind, 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 grind. That's how you do. All right? YouTube folks, love you. Like, comment, subscribe.